run for your life. The nightmare has begun. It will find you in the hour when dream and reality merge. The last desperate moment of darkness. Hey, who is it? Just before dawn. My dear Lucille, your respiration is normal. They were warned. At least tell me where you're going, so that when you don't come back, I'll know how to fill out the report. <laughs> but they did not understand the warning. Did you see? Demon. You're gonna get them kids, too. <laughs> they came to the mountain for adventure and escape. What they found was a trial which only the strongest could survive. How could they know that beneath the awesome beauty of nature lay violence, danger, and death? You've seen all the blood. How could they know the heat of their bodies was the magnet that would draw the terror to them. No! No! No more devils. No more. No more nothing out there. Just guys, little creatures. You saw them kids? I see them. Like I see them. They're a good mind to just let them have their due. Just before dawn, they will cry out. Just before dawn. They will struggle to escape just before dawn. The demon lives. If only they could die in their sleep. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate all support. Today, I'm going to be continuing my Retro Corner video series where I'm going to be discussing my top 10 favorite VHS releases. And um, I haven't done one of these videos in a while, so I kind of wanted to up it, update everybody with uh, some stuff that's been added to my collection in my top 10 favorite VHS titles. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so the majority of these are horror releases. Um, I do like action films and other genres, but horror horror films are, you know, that's my genre of choice. So, like, 90% of these are horror. But anyways, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first release that I have here is called Island of Blood. And it is a very rare, um, it's a very rare release on VHS. Um, I think it's got a very limited DVD release. If it even has a DVD release, I'm not sure. But um, this is a very rare title, and it is actually a cut box. So as you can see, it was once a, uh, a complete box, and it's been cut. So let's go ahead and better look at that. Island of Blood, really cool. I got blood dripping down the, uh, the letters. They came seeking fame and fortune. What they found was a bloodbath. Really cool stuff, guys. Island of Blood. Even though it's just a cut box, it's still really cool. It's rare as hell. Um, just a really rare slasher film. Most people have never seen this before. But I love it. It's a really bizarre film, too. Let's see, pop this open. Kind of hard to do one-handed. But as you can see, even the, um, you know, the title and the sticker on there is really rare. And just weird looking. Oh, that's that. All right, next up, I'm sure you can see it's in the background, and everybody knows I'm a huge Terminator fan. This is a Thorn EMI video release of the original Terminator. This is the first edition release of the film. Um, just absolutely phenomenal, guys. This is my favorite Terminator release. The Terminator. I love all the Thorn um, Thorn videos because they all come in these really hard, sturdy boxes. 
There it is in the back. This is in absolutely phenomenal condition, guys. Absolutely incredible. I don't want to open all these up because you guys get the idea. There's just a VHS tape in there. There's not much to it. Let's go ahead and uh, get right into my number eight. And collection wouldn't be complete without Halloween 1978, the original. This is the uh, media release, second edition. And I actually found this in a pawn shop, which is incredible, for 50 cents. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, who in their right mind would just, you know, willingly go and donate this to the Goodwill? But yeah, the night he came home. Really cool stuff, guys. Um, the box is not in the best shape. But for 50 cents, I mean, you can't beat that. I could easily, you know, if I wanted to, which I'm not going to, but if I wanted to, I could sell this on eBay for 50 bucks. Um, these media releases, even in the worst condition, sell for uh, a pretty penny. But I love Halloween too much to do that. I'm, I'm just really pleased to have this in my collection. All right, next up. A film that seems to get a lot of hate from um, slasher fans for whatever reason, but the final terror, I absolutely love this movie. Um, it's got really inc incredible cinematography. Um, just really some, some really breathtaking scenes. Uh, there's not that many kills in this movie. It's got a very low body count. And I think that's why a lot of slasher fans kind of write it off as not a very good film. Um, I love it. I love the dialogue between the characters. Um, it's just got some kind of charm to it that I really like. And this is a Vestron video release. The Final Terror. And there's the back there. Scream Factory did a uh, Blu-ray release this couple years back. And um, I have that as well. And I really enjoy it. Um, the thing is with this VHS release is it's very, very dark. It's hard to kind of see in some scenes what's, go what's going on. And they did some color correction in the Blu-ray release to make it a little bit more brighter. And you can kind of see a little bit better what's going on. But this has just got just a phenomenal grainy feel to it. It looks really old school and it's got that grindhouse feel that I really enjoy. But yeah, really good film. I would highly recommend checking out The Final Terror. It kind of flies under the radar as far as slasher films go. But if you like obscure slasher films, this is definitely one you want to check out. It's really fun. Um, a low body count, but I feel like the atmosphere and the character development make up for it. All right. Check out the next one. Honeymoon Horror, another obscure slasher film from the 80s. Uh, what can I say about this film? It's it's super cheesy, guys. I'm not going to lie. But I love the hell out of that. I love the color cover there, Till Death Do Us Part. Just a really cool title, Honeymoon Horror. Now, this has never got a DVD or Blu-ray release, so this is strictly a VHS release. This is such an obscure film, guys. This is a regional slasher film. So if you know anything about slasher movies... Um, some of these movies only got like a regional release. And so um, this one came out in VHS only and it was only like it was restricted to a certain area. I think it was filmed out in uh, like Arizona or something. Or Colorado. I can't I can't remember exactly, but this is a really fun slasher film. It's 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 your stereotypical slasher. I mean, there's nothing special going on in this film. But the fact that it's really obscure and mo most people have never heard of it, I, it's a really nice title to have in my collection. All right, next up, a pretty well-known film. Pe most people have heard of Slumber Party Massacre. It's it's one of my sla uh, favorite slasher films in the genre. I absolutely love this movie. Um, I love the driller killer. I love the music. Just absolutely phenomenal. Really dig the hell out of this. And um, there's plenty of TNA if you're into that thing in this in this review. I'm sorry, in this movie. Um, if you like really sleazy movies, then uh, <laughs> Slumber Party Massacre is definitely for you. Um, can only imagine. I've never I never saw this when I was a little kid. I think I was a teenager when I saw this for the first time. But I can only imagine if uh, my parents brought me to the video store and they said, "All right, go ahead and pick out a movie you want," and I brought this to them, they'd probably be like, "Absolutely not." This movie is so freaking sleazy, so much nudity, gratuitous nudity, it's it's unreal. All right, next up. Oh, an absolutely incredible film, guys. What can I not say about My Bloody Valentine? Just 
easily, hands down, one of the greatest slasher films of all time. If you haven't seen My, My Bloody Valentine, then you are doing yourself a huge disservice. This is like the... And most, if you talk to most horror fans or slasher fans, I would say that most of them would have My Bloody Valentine in their top five, if not in their top three of all slasher films. And um, this is, I, I haven't done a, a top top ten slasher ranking. Maybe I need to start doing that. Um, but this is definitely in my top three. I don't know exactly where it lands, but it's definitely in my top three. And the next film that I'll show you will be in my top three as well. But they're pretty interchangeable. They're both really good films. But yeah, it's just a phenomenal movie, guys. And um, I was super excited to get this on VHS. I've been like watching it on eBay for a while and watching it in some different horror groups um, that I follow on Facebook. And I couldn't find one in good, really good condition like this. And I finally saw one on eBay that was reasonably priced. So I went and jumped on it. But there it is, guys. Oh, I'm so happy to have this in my collection. I just... I'm so pleased by it. 1981's My Bloody Valentine at the peak of the slasher genre. 1981 was like the, the holy grail year for slasher fans. All right, last but not least, my all-time favorite VHS in my collection to this point. You guys should already know that I am a huge Just Before Dawn fan. I freaking love this movie. This movie epitomizes the grindhouse feel of that era. era. Just a phenomenal, you know, redneck, um, hillbilly, kind of similar to um, the Wrong Turn movie. Wrong Turn definitely ripped off just before dawn, but you know, it's it's like a group of, of five kids that go out in the um, they go out in the mountains to kind of check out this kid's land that he got an inheritance, and they don't know that this is like you know um, inbred um, redneck family living out there, and there's a set of twins, these mountain they call them mountain men, that are out there and. Um, they just start killing them one by one, and uh, really, really solid release. This is a Paragon release, which everybody that follows VHS collecting, you know, Paragon Video Productions is just a phenomenal company. They make really solid VHS releases, and uh, this release is no exception. There's like 40 minutes worth of trailers before you even get to the movie, and these trailers are like... Some of the wildest trailers I've ever seen in my life. Um, they are Grindhouse trailers. So if you know anything about Grindhouse films, it's just really gritty. They're like really obscure movies that people have never heard of before. You know, like the drive-in movies from the late 70s. Um, and these trailers are chock full of nudity and, real, and ultra sleaze. So it's a nice little addition to this movie. When you, you, know, you pop this in, you watch the trailers first. And you feel like you're in a drive-in movie theater. And then you go and you watch this. Really cool stuff, guys. This is a very, very obscure title on VHS. Um, super rare. I only see this pop up on eBay ever so often. And it's hard to find um, this this actual release in, in this condition. I spent a lot of money getting this. Um, a lot more than I should have, but I had to have it in my collection, guys. This is just a phenomenal film and a phenomenal VHS to have in my collection. So there it is. My number one. All right, now I have some honorable mentions. Um, these are phenomenal films as well, but I don't have them in my top 10 ranking. But I figured I'd talk about them. Pumpkinhead, really cool movie. I absolutely love the Pumpkinhead series. This is another favorite in my collection. Absolutely phenomenal stuff, guys. Oh, what collection would... What, no collection would be complete... Without the Lost Boys, guys. Phenomenal, you know, this is just a landmark film from the 80s. Every, you know, everybody's probably seen the Lost Boys, but I love this movie. Um, had to have it in my collection. It's so good. I need to do a review of this movie big time. Not a very rare title, and that's probably why I don't have it in my ranking. Not because it's a bad film, but because it's not a rare title. And I, you know, I was showcasing my rare, rarer titles that I have. And, and as well as being my favorites. But yeah, this is a really good film. It's easily, you know, it's hands down one of my favorite films. But anyways. Next up. Ah, Return of the Living Dead 3. Classic film. I love this. I loved this film so much as a kid. I love the, you know, the Living Dead, the Return of the Living Dead series. Just an absolutely phenomenal film. 
You know, this film was very rare for a while. It just got a Blu-ray release, but it was hard to find on DVD and Blu-ray. And, um, you know, Vestron Video, they, they just, their Blu-ray line that they have, they just released a Vestron Videos, um, you know, their, their throwback series on Blu-ray. They just released this, uh, last year and I got that on Blu-ray and I was so excited to have it. But even before I owned it on Blu-ray, I owned it on VHS. Really good film, guys. I highly recommend checking this out. All right. Creep Show. Another classic film. Stephen King and George A. Romero. If you haven't seen Creep Show, then you're living under a log. This is just an absolute phenomenal anthology film. It's like five little mini films in one. And every single one of them is extremely is done extremely well. It lives up to its title. It is definitely a creep show. This, this movie gave me the creeps as a kid. So this box is pretty beat up. Um, I found this in a pawn shop and it's pretty, it's pretty beat up, but the movie itself plays really well. And it's a nice little addition to my collection. All right. Last but not least, Nightbreed, a phenomenal Clive Barker film. I would say it's hands down better than Hellraiser in my opinion. This is Clive Barker's, you know, hidden gem. Most people have most, you know, most of the casual horror fans have never heard of this. But, you know, if you go into uh, a lot of horror collecting groups, they will say that Nightbreed is better than Hellraiser. It's just that Nightbreed's never had any sequels, um, whereas Hellraiser has spawned a, a large uh, legacy for itself. But yeah, really cool film. I think the hell out of this came out in uh, 1990. So, just a phenomenal film. Really cool stuff there. Anyways, guys, those are my top 10 favorite films and five honorable mentions in my collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I gave you a little bit of insight into my collection and what my favorites are. As always, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future content. I greatly appreciate it. Until next time, guys, take it easy.